is Yo Soap. Yo Soap is eco-cleaning soap made from used cooking oil. One liter of used cooking oil can turn into 10 Eco Soaps for general household cleaning. Eco Soap making is a good example of circular economy in local practice, and we try to do everything locally. Collect from local waste, local produce, and local use. However, the idea is not aimed at producing lots of eco soaps, but it's focused on the environmental issues of used cooking oil disposal and synthetic cleaning products and detergent in our daily lives. Here is the current life cycle of cooking oils and synthetic cleaning products and detergents. First, all sources come from nature, like raw materials such as plants, oil, and other ingredients. Then, all materials are transported and manufactured in the factory. Those are usually involved a long distance of transportation and cost a lot of energy consumption. Then the products are distributed to shops, markets, and even exported abroad for customers. For the cooking oil, it has been used in restaurants and local households, which should be properly disposed of after use. For example, bigger restaurants could hire waste disposal companies, and for small restaurants, vendors and households need to bring leftover waste to collecting points. It should never be poured down the sink, toilet, or drains that block the sewers and can lead to flooding, water pollution, and bad smell. Many cities have been receiving waste disposal complaints. They need to pay a lot of money for drain cleaning services. For the use of synthetic cleaning products, dishwashing detergent, there have been many discussions about their impact to the environment and human health since 1950s. Many synthetic cleaning products may interfere with the human endocrine system, disrupt hormones, and could possibly cause illness to plants and animals. In Yo Soap, upcycling targets circular economy with the key concepts of local production and local use. We try to upcycle everything locally and engage the local community during the whole process. First, we collect used cooking oil from local restaurants and households by oil for eco soap swapping idea. So we could make sure that the oil is not dumped into the drains or sold for reprocessing. And people coming to the workshop will recycle their containers of milk cartons, plastic cups, bottles from their daily waste. The only material we need to fetch from outside is sodium hydroxide. Then, the EcoSo products are made with groups of people through several activities like holding lectures, workshops, and co-making sections. The process is quite simple and takes around 30 minutes without electricity or heating. The workshops are an effective way to get people involved and take action. Then, Eco Soap products are used locally for clean kitchens, toilets, restaurants, schools, household objects in our daily life. Can replace synthetic cleaning products and liquid detergents for household cleaning and without those additional bad chemical smells that harm our health and our environment. Eco soap making technique has had a long history since ancient time that people produce soap from fat and ash. But the eco soap making from used cooking oil is an active movement for educational purposes. It was kickstarted by two pioneers in Japan and Taiwan. The nonprofit organization Seken no Machi, the city of soap in Chiba near Tokyo. Nowadays, they have two eco soap factories. That are continuously manufacturing this type of product and provide educational activities in schools and communities. In Taiwan, the eco soap movement was introduced in 1990s when the Japanese group Sekan no Machi visited and shared their story at an event hosted by the Homemakers Union Consumers Co op. Since then, another NGO, Maple Culture Association, and its eco school became another key activist group taking actions in several communities from 1996. And it is also Yo Soap Studio's main collaborator since the early stages. The technique we are now using is modified by Mrs. Feng Yi Xiang together with their lectures. They have a long experience of teaching these eco soaps in many different contexts with the slogans, community development starts by eco soap making. That generated extra income from product sales that could benefit to local activities funding. 
The Maple EcoSoap Studio has also trained more than 2,000 EcoSoap lecturers in Taiwan and hosted around 1,000 visitors every year from over 35 countries. Now, for the EcoSoap movement in Finland, Yo Soap Studio has been activated in Helsinki since 2011, brought out and developed by Jin Ju Lin and within Aalto University, and later has been developed in within her master's thesis project. The Innovation Hub Yosop Studio was registered in Finland in end of 2014. Collaboration with Maple Community's 20 years experience in Taiwan aims to spread EcoSOP knowledge into the international scale. I first mentioned this EcoSOP knowledge in the Sustainable Product Design course, but uh, surprisingly no one in the class have heard this before, but all of them wanted to see how it works. So I had a tryout in the Odanemi Auto Eco Campus project. The product is first prototyped in Finland and looks good. It started getting attention and following, I got several invitations to workshops and uh, exhibitions in Finland and abroad, like in Finnish high school, Silver Spiva Cleaning Day Festival in Helsinki, Design Center in Poland, and pilot collaboration with Auto Global Impact etc. And uh, from this experience, I received many uh, positive feedback and noticed the energy coming from people. So that's why it became to a bigger plan as my master thesis a few years back. It combines design thinking, collaborative design, and the service design tools to develop through several workshops and meetings and stakeholders in order to find the values of this EcoSOP knowledge and a sustainable way to scale it up. So now you might ask, how do we get people involved? For people new to EcoSOP knowledge, the first and easiest step is to let them use and try the EcoSOAP products, either receiving them as eco gifts or purchased in local shops. Join EcoSOAP workshops with friends, organize workshops yourselves for your groups, or become a Yo Soap ambassador. For example, our first ambassador, Tom, is sharing this eco soap knowledge while traveling to several eco villages in South America. For people who have known eco soap knowledge or products, they are welcome to join the Yo Soap local global network and continue to get involved. Get in touch with NGOs and communities that are working on eco soap projects. You could set up a local eco soap studio. Then, share your stories and experiences with us. And most importantly, support and share and spread the word. For example, our translation part is much faster, but our marketing plan is going much slower in Finland that uh, we require more input from local activists. I think it's better to just keep the big picture there and leave more rooms and flexibility for collaborations. I believe if the Yosop spirits and positive energy keeps rolling to other people, then the awareness of related environmental issues in our daily life will, will be seen by people and improve day by day. So, what's the feedback from our stakeholders? I think it's a really, really good idea, because I hate to throw away stuff. And if you can use stuff, something useful, then rather than throwing away or selling away. Well, if the waste oil that you're using is, is from cooking, you will have some um, impurities coming from the food subject that you've been cooking in the oil. Of course, there was there's something else besides the, the oil itself, but it's coming from food in a way, so I wouldn't be too concerned about that. It's really good, especially cleaning my bike, because there's all this kind of crazy stuff. But also like cleaning the bathroom, cleaning the floors, uh, cleaning the balcony. Uh, I use it also with the uh, bicycle, where there is really greasy stuff, because it's a very effective with grease. But what is more surprising to me is that uh, it doesn't uh, give any bad feeling to hands. So normally soaps uh, or they work uh, poorly 
or otherwise they are aggressive uh, also to the skin. But these, for some reason, are really okay with my hands. For example, once there was a microwave oven that was really, really dirty and I tried all kind of uh, cleaning chemicals for that that didn't work, but then I tried your soap and it worked really good. <laughs> I think it um, connects very well uh, with what Dodo is doing here at Kantapöytä and Typpilaksa. Uh, this Kantapöytä, our urban gardening center, uh, we tried to create uh, like kind of a circular economy. It suits very well that we also then use the scrap oil that we get from making brunches and, and food here to make uh, soap and to use that to clean up the kitchen then.